Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video we are going to see, how to sync errors from Merchant Center to the app. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks, about digital marketing, and, press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. In our app, we don't sync product errors from Google Merchant Center automatically. Products showing up in the error tab of the app are the ones with missing mandatory attributes, we fail to submit them. As they did not meet the minimum required criteria of product submission. The product description is blank. App won't sync those product wherein product image is missing or product price value submitted as zero in your Shopify store. If products are submitted as SKU as product ID and you have not submitted SKU for a particular product or variant. Submitted products means they are submitted to the Google Merchant Center and Google Merchant Center may or may not have raised the errors after the submission is accepted. Here is how we will sync all the errors raised by Google Merchant Center to our app, so that you can work on those errors and fix them. If you are synchronizing the errors for the first time from Merchant Center to our app, you will have to click on Filter Products. Then from the drop-down, we'll select Error from Merchant Center and we'll press click here to refresh errors from Merchant Center. Here we will press the Refresh Product Errors button. Once you will refresh product errors, it will ask for an email ID on which the error report will be delivered. Here I am giving the email ID on which I want the list of errors. Please allow few minutes for the email to deliver. Once it is delivered, in the email we will have all the errors raised for the products in Google Merchant Center. To fix the errors on products, you need to know which product has what kind of errors. Our app allows you to sync errors from Google Merchant Center to our app. It will work smoothly, only if you are submitting products through our app. If you are using any other Google Shopping app for product data submission along with our app, errors will not sync properly. Our app will work with feed errors, raised out of products submitted by our app only. Then you can follow various help docs to fix the respective errors. Comprehensive list of error fixes which are very common, are given in the list of errors and fixes section below. Once you have fixed the errors, you should resync the errors again but only after 24 hours to update the error status of the products on the app. We have to wait for 24 hours because, in most of the errors, Google takes 24 hours to update the errors in the diagnostics page. Also, app does not allow error syncing for another 24 hours. Once errors are synced with the app for the first time, you can again sync the product errors in the app on the Manage Products page of the app, by clicking on Refresh Product Errors. These are the possible ways in which you can sync errors from Google Merchant Center. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube, that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. See you again in another video.